Yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> talking about Neo stock, Neo stock video. I, I, I just looked at the chart. I just looked at the chart I'm at at the moment, but I was thinking about it. And I looked at the chart of Neo stock. It's not all bad, guys. It's not all bad, in my opinion. Not financial advice. It's not all bad. Because um, it's difficult to, as you know, like um, I can predict price action. As you know, I called it right several times. And Neo stock, not just Neo stock, other stocks. But uh, generally, it's difficult to do to predict price action it's like you know <clears throat> it's difficult to do like even for me you know like i got like obviously superhuman powers <laughs> but it's difficult to do in general but i was looking at the price action of neo stock and one of the reasons why probably people find it difficult especially with like neo stock it's because of that when it went up you know to 66 dollars and obviously it's now you know came all went all the way down to like 375 or whatever so they've just got there's no kind of like history on the price action is you know it's misleading it's not it's not a gradual like there's nothing to go off of basically like how do you what do you do like you know you see 66 dollars and then you see 375 well what you know what where does it lead you to think that the price is you know where the price is heading that's what i want to say where the price is heading and when when the price is you know going to be x amount by a certain date or whatever so that's the thing, it's difficult with Neo stock because of that, you know, because of that pump to $66. If you remove that pump, if you remove that pump, that $66, and you say, you know, I don't know, you average it around $5, let's say, then you can kind of see where it's going, where it's heading, because you can say, all right, it was five dollars. Now it's four fifty four sixty. It's been up to eight. You know, over eight. Like, and then it went seven seventy, and it's like you know, several times it's been over six, and so on. Like, you can kind of like work it all out, or kind of narrow it down to reach some conclusions, or you know, some guesswork, guesstimate the price price you know where it's going to be on a certain date but because the neo stock rose so high and then fell you know back i'm not going to say so low well so low from where it was the height it was but really it only came back down to where it was originally you know more or less obviously a bit lower within the range but what i want to say is that it's um all you've got to do really is focus on future sales and where the company was before it went to you know basically went to the moon the 66 dollars where was the company before it went to the moon and, and like in terms of like you know sales and you know developments within the company and so on what they were doing etc and where the company are now you know what's happening now developments and sales expansions and everything else and then i was just like i was i was thinking on on those lines you know um what the company's doing etc and then looking at the stock price of neo like the uh, price action and then I thought, well, you know, if you look at January, going right back, you know, if you look at January to 
when it was like over 850 and then you look at where it peaked um again you know in october 770 well you got nine months like between those two kind of highs you got nine months roughly I'm not looking at the chart it's just like what i recall and then if you think about it nine months in a way it's a long time but then it's not a long time because you get like cryptos down for two years or more and all right cryptos fly they could take off but at the same time they could come back down you know they could come back down they can they can um they can crash quite sharply and you just never know like you see that lo um, Luna, you know, Luna crashed basically, you know, bad, you know, went all the way to virtually nothing. So with a stock like Neo, you've got to look for gradual, you know, gradual spikes, like increases um, over time. But the good news is, I think with Neo stock is that I don't think it's going to be nine months before the stock goes up again. I think what, what you know, it's been bashed down. I think like it should have, right now, without, if it hadn't been bashed down, I think the stock would have been easily stabilised at $6. So I think it's going to go up. It's possible it could go up 2024 before, you know, before, um, before the 2024 ends. I think it could go up. And if it does go up, obviously it's got to go back to those highs again, pushing $8 or over $8, in my opinion. I don't know, you know, I'm not financial, not financial advice. So I think that like, you know, with the bad news out of the way, obviously like tariffs, it's not clear yet what's going to happen, but people are aware of of the issue. I think like long term, you know, like into 2025, I think like e e even with tariffs or whatever, although tariffs could change, tariffs could come, tariffs could go, etc., etc. But even with the tariffs, NEO is still expanding. So car sales, should be going up revenue should be going up and um obviously you've got the firefly coming out 21st december but i think that in the short term i think we might see another spike guys i think we might see another spike and not that long away we could see another spike going to you know, as I said, back back to like around about eight, maybe a bit lower, maybe a bit higher. And that's what I think anyway. That's what I think on, um, based on all the, you know, based on the price action and all what I've said, I think like um, we could be seeing Neo stock um, back to those levels, guys. As I said, again, not financial advice, but it is a possibility. It is a possibility. And um, just want to say, like, you know, if it does in 2024 go back to around about $8 or maybe higher, just want to say to people, you know, that want it long term, that want to hold Neo long term and might be tempted by taking profits like don't leave yourself short guys don't don't leave yourself short like if you want to hold certain amount of stock in neo long term at these kind of levels you know four and a half dollars just my um you know in my opinion don't like sell out and then wait for it to go back down because if it doesn't go back down then you've lost out, haven't you? You haven't got that price again. On the other hand, you know, it's just my opinion, it could go up and then could go back down again. So I'm not saying it won't go back down again if it goes up to $8.
So it could go back down again. But then it's the same situation. Like, if it goes back down again, you don't know how low it's going to go. And where do you buy? Do you buy it like for 480, you know, $5? Or do you wait for it to go like it went, 430, if it was 434? But who knows how low it's going to go? Who knows that it was going to go to 434? I thought like it would go down when it, when it was heading down. I thought it would head down, you know, lowest maybe 470. I didn't think it would dip 434. Anyway, I, I didn't, even though it dipped 434, it seems to be that kind of like drop seems to be stabilised, seems to be heading up. As I predicted, it would head up. I predicted it would head up like if it dropped. So it seems to be heading up. Um, but as I say, guys, like, let's just, um, let's just keep an eye on it, you know, focus on, focus on um, long term. Because that's what matters, you know, that ultimately that's what matters, the long term of um, stocks, you know, Neo stock, stocks like Neo stock. It's the long term that matters. And um, so obviously, like, you know, a lot of attention has gone away from EVs, Chinese EVs, because of, you know, because like crypto's going up. And then other stocks may be going up a bit. But it goes like that, guys. It goes like that. Heads in cycles, you know. And the more they expand, the more Neo expand, then the more likely that people will come back when they see the results, you know, people come back. And don't forget, guys, already big buyers big players you know they, they they they've been buying neo stock when it's fallen down they've been buying neo stock so all is not all is not bad you know because the big players they're not staying away they're actually buying neo stock <laughs> so so um my opinion you know that's uh that's good news isn't it good news because the big players are, are, are around and um, obviously, like the Chinese, they could pump it. You know, you got you got the Chinese, and then you got obviously US. You know, investors and other global investors, not just in the US and in, in, in the Chinese. You got big players in other countries. You know, they jump on Neo stock, guys. Neo stock could go to the moon. You know, remember, Neo stock went to the moon, like, based on what? You know, when it went $66. Based on what? Now it's advanced from, from then. Um, you know, we're talking three years on, over three years. So... So when it goes to the moon again, in my opinion, I think it will go to the moon. When it goes to the moon again, Neo stock, I think it could go a lot higher. That's what I think, guys. Anyway, let's just keep um, keep watching it. And um, if there's any updates, the revenues are coming out, right? This month, revenues are coming out, as you know. So that's good news, guys. I think sales will be up. I think, my opinion, I think sales will be up. And I think that... Um, look, there was nearly an accident there, nearly a crash. That that, that Audi, Audi car didn't stop. Guys, I, I think that the Firefly will push... will push the sales even higher in 2025 you know 
and not just the Firefly guys. Neo, you know, they could bring out other models, other other cars. But also the technology. Neo's technology. Semiconductors. You know, it's the technology that could be a big player in the future for Neo. It's the technology, guys. The technology could could um, be a big uh, revenue booster. And this car coming, it looks like, a, that white car there, it looks like a Neo. It looks like the Firefly, guys. Can't see what car it is there. But it looks similar to the um, Firefly. It was, there was um, some pictures of the Firefly covered up, you know, and uh, it looks sort of similar. Anyway, guys, um, we'll keep watching it. But as I say, like, revenues increase over time with Neo. More sales and then parts. Don't forget, guys, they're going to be selling a lot of parts. And that's where the, that's where the big profits are in the parts. The big profits are in the parts, guys. Um, so, let's just keep watching it, guys, and I'll update you if there's any any price action, any information on the price action.